or trying to, you know, question everything you have to say. And that's not right. There's a lot of us that support you. You know, we pray for you and it's only the best for you. And um, I did want to ask you another question. The Your lawyers or Chris McDonald or any of those people that advise you, are they saying it's okay for you to get on panels? And if, because I'm afraid that if you release information to the wrong people, it might mess up your case. And we need John in jail for what he did to you and your sister. Yeah, you know, I haven't really said a lot about our case, you know. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't said to anybody because I'm. I'm just not going to, you know. Good. And okay. so that's, okay. you know, that's just going to be out there. So, Good. you know, but, right. you know, but what I've said, you know, just talking to Donnie through the panel because, you know, I can't talk to him. You know, I'm supposed to not, you know, not talk to him and stuff. So. When I get on the live, you know, and I say, hey, Donnie, are you watching this? Guess what? They're, you know, you know, he yeah. will be, a, he, he will be arrested eventually, you know, and I don't think just by saying that, you know, will mess up my case. So, well, no, that's yeah. good. And, no, that's and too, I think a lot of times, um, you know, people think that things happen overnight and that, you know, they can just run out and arrest him when somebody files charges. And it doesn't work that way. And just, you know, we'll be patient. And just thank you for, for sitting and stepping up for summer. Oh, you're more than welcome. You know, we we never even imagined it would get this far, you know, in, into this deep, you know, of stuff. But, um, and I'm you sure know, you had to live with all that all those years. All those years. And Jeannie both. Yeah, you know, I mean, it wasn't too bad growing up with Donnie, you know. It was okay, but Jeannie's the one who took the worst of it, you know. And she yeah. was just a little girl. She was Summer's age when he started I'm sexually in. assaulting I'm her, you know. I mean, that's almost like ha saying, you know... I don't know. I'm not going to go there. But anyways, yeah, you know, she was summer's age when it started. So, you know, that's the only reason why we came out. Exactly. And just know, like I said, you've got a lot of people that love you, a lot of people supporting you, a lot of people behind you. And if you ever need to get in touch with me, you can contact A.B. or Tiffany Marie or Zig and send her my email any of these creators, um, the three I just named or the ones I watch, um, I'll be happy to try to help you any way that I possibly can if, if you need anything. Even earbuds. Even earbuds. Oh, right. <laughs> I think I need to get me a pair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you do too. And um, so anyway, I just wanted let you know that we love that we're praying for you okay thank you so much i really appreciate you're it you're welcome you're very welcome and uh ziggy is it okay if i address our prayer garden and then i'll be real quick and then i'll be off yeah just real real just real quick yeah okay um prayer garden i'm not real sure i've been listening to you and I haven't heard you say anything that we haven't already heard on YouTube or through the news. And I just wonder, can you tell us something we don't know that we ha that hasn't been on other channels? Because it seems like you are on, you're here to protect Don, even though you say you're not, and blame Candace. When I think Candace and Grandma were the last two with Summer, and then maybe Don might have some information covering up. 
or maybe none of them are involved. Well, if that's your opinion, then you're entitled to it. It just doesn't happen to be mine. And I do think I brought I mean, a lot. I mean, that's my thing. I mean, the, um, I'm, I think I have brought a lot out to everyone's thing. attention that they did not know. Um, maybe I don't know who your informants are. And maybe you have information, you know, like share. I'm sure I haven't brought anything out to share. Did not already know because she's behind the scenes. And she could have brought it out way before I did. So. Well, first of well, first and foremost, I don't listen to Cher or Benny Keys. I have nothing to do with them. The, I I've listened the to you twice. And I, um, I mean, it's disrespectful. Oh, yeah, I've just, just noticed to, a lot of people I have commented. I, I, I read the and so I thought I would ask because I, mean, I thought I could silly. ask nicely. I like I've seen um, a lot of people comment that, that the comments or comments other than like, the drywall stuff oh, and you think her body's in there the Bible. that and everything else we've been Bible hearing for thing. months well karen, karen you have heard that she is actually you were on here when don called her live right so she has been talking to don that's not that's for 100 okay. percent fact no i do i understand she's been talking to don i'm not denying that but yeah. she's just repeating what don had been saying is is what i'm getting from it and maybe I haven't listened to enough of her, and I, I mean, you know, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Well, that's what I want. I want to hear what Don's been telling her. That's what I want to hear. It's about Don, you know, and she has added in her opinions and stuff, but you know, we all have. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just just in the short time that I've been listening to her over the few nights that she's been on, I've just thought, okay, we already knew that. We and a lot of stuff is repeated so. because people are asking things that she's already gone over and stuff. So a lot of this stuff, you know, for me, like I've already heard a lot of this stuff over and, you know, if, because I've been here the yeah. whole time. But um, Well, and I really wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I just, I think it bothers me and maybe it's just me, but we don't know for sure if Summer is dead or alive. And a lot of us still have hope that she's alive. And it really is heartbreaking for her to say over and over that she's in a wall. Oh, no, that might just be me. But that no, that's just, hard to handle when yeah, we're, we've her, got so she's much just, hope. Uh, And I try to tell people, like, she's just, and she's said many times that uh, she's very um, blunt. And it's just her, I try to remind her, like, when she says things like, uh, you know, that she doesn't believe Summer's here anymore. I just try to remind her, you know, this is her opinion. You know what I mean? And, um, but yeah, um, so. All right. Well, I will have stepped down because I think I offended you and that was certainly not, not my point. I, I'm really. No, no, it's fine. At least, I mean, you tried to, no, it's, you didn't offend me. I'm least. here to support Mary and, yeah. you know, I just, I think Fred Garden, I just have seen no. her and so many people's chat rooms think, arguing with people and now she comes on panel for the last three nights and everybody thinks she has all the answers and if she had all the answers i think FBI or law enforcement uh michelle after dark's video her last upload upload and that must be why i got yeah, a huge a amount night. of right, new you. subscribers today and a bunch of new views well i will say this i appreciate uh, i appreciate uh, Karen too. Um, I do. She always has, is always so respectful and stuff, but I want to say that I appreciate Prayer Garden for coming out and telling us like what her experience has been with Dawn and so do a lot of people. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff, yeah, is going to be, she, of course, like Dawn's going to repeat information to Prayer Garden like that we've heard because he's been on panels and stuff. And if he's trying to put, pull the wool over people's eyes, he's going to repeat you know, same thing to her, you know, a lot of times, but like she said, she's going to, um, maybe, I don't know if we're going to do this. I don't know about doing this question and answer thing again tomorrow. Maybe instead we could do what prayer garden was wanting to do as far as showing the stuff that she had. And then, you know, because it is a lot with having all these people come up and stuff. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> Are you okay? Prayer garden? 
Oh, yeah, I'm fine. You know, it is, in my opinion, you know, the wall thing, mm -hmm. you know, it is, in my opinion, yeah. that, you know, it is. And it needs checked out, you know, it needs looked into. Yeah. Definitely, I mean, look into it because this is a sealed up wall. Yeah. It did have a bad odor that would cha it chase that man completely out of the place. He did not want to stay in there. And no bucket of mud's going to do that. And we all know it. So, you know, I, if I'm offending someone or trying, you know, or you feel I'm taking your hope away from wanting to believe some are still alive, who doesn't want to believe some are still alive? Right. You know, she, she should be alive up on that land right now, swinging and playing and running around. She should. But, you know, we got to face the truth. You know, I mean, when they find her, we're still going to have to face the truth then. But, you know, if you want, I understand people wanting to keep their hope. So, yeah. you know. Um, right. This is just your opinion. So don't let, you guys, don't let somebody's opinion, you know, don't let Prayer Garden's opinion um, take away your hope, you guys. Exactly. This is her opinion. It's and she opinion. does use language that I've noticed that she uses language a lot of times where she says things like matter of fact, and it sounds like she's saying that it's act, um, fact, but really it's her opinion, you guys. Um, so that's why I try to, you know, on some things like, oh, is this, you know, try to remind her to separate what she's actually heard and just her opinion. So it's, I think that she means well, I really do. And that's some, I mean, I'm, I understand like, you guys don't have to agree with me, but I do want to say real quick, uh, Aussie, Trisha, thank you so much. Um, she says, Mary, you have love and support from around the world. God bless your family and keep, and keep you strong. Um, and thank you for the new members. I just had a couple, and I just tried to scroll up and see who they were. Of course, it's off the screen before I was able to uh, address it. But to the new members, check the community tab after the live to join the members only Discord, there's a link there for you to come, you know, to you, for you to join. So um, we have Gritty Gabby up now. Thank you so much for th for waiting, Gritty. Hey, I'm so, I'm I'm very proud to be here and um, be on your stream. And Mary, I, I'm going to try and make. I have a few questions, but I'm going to try and make it very short and poignant and to, I mean, straight to the point. Okay. So let's go there. Mary, we love you. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Uh, we love you. And I, I get you girl. Just know that that's all I'm going to say. Okay. I get you. I understand how you feel. Um, I think that the reason that Dawn and Candace are not speaking against each other, they know too much about each other's past and history and they know if they're married they can't um if they're common law or married they don't go against each other in court okay they cannot testify against each other i think that's my opinion on that okay um the other thing is the vehicle the vehicle will tell them even if a door was opened and what time the door was opened if the trunk was open if Anything that was going on in that car. Now, I don't know about GPS, but they will be able to tell a lot of things from, from the computer if they did their due diligence in that. Um, the other thing is um, the cadaver dogs didn't need any type of clothing. They, they strictly are looking for a certain molecule that only comes from a dead person's body. That's all they look for. There is a difference between a scent hound that, that looks for the clothing scent and a cadaver dog. That is totally different. So, so for, for. Yes, I was going to say you are 100 percent right about that. Okay. And, and I just noticed that. I mean, I just heard that. I was just been, I've just been taking notes. The other thing is I wanted to ask, um, prayer garden how long have you known about him saying that she is okay <clears throat> um i don't know i cannot answer you that. don't know you don't know I, how long you've known that i don't you don't understand i have got a full 
I don't even know if it's on my phone or if it's in my email. Well, was it was it a month ago? Was it two months ago? Was it a day ago? That's all I'm asking. I'm not being rude. I'm just asking. That's like a really big deal. I mean, for someone to say that, it to me, it, it's important to me. I'm just asking you nicely. How long ago did she tell? Or did he tell you that about this baby that she is okay? It was now. Don't this wasn't Candace. This was Donald. Did he? I meant to say he. I tried to correct it. How long ago did he tell you that she is okay? And I, like I said, you <clears> know, <throat> I don't want to unless I go back and look at the correct date. I don't want to put on it, but it 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 was more than a week or a month or, you know, I'm not for sure. I don't want to say it was, oh, it was like immediately after I started talking to him or I don't want to say it was a week ago or, you know, a month when mm -hmm. I don't know. Because I've been going through so many things for Mary. <laughs> I've been going through so many, and, and to be honest with you, a lot of those little click things that he sent me, I didn't ever mm -hmm. click on. It, I'm just recently okay. clicking on some of them. Matter of fact, he sent me one with um, um, mm -hmm. some man on it, and the man's going off ballistically about mm -hmm. something. And, you know, it, it, I, I just recently started clicking on these things. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you now. I need to know, did you contact anybody when you heard it? Um, I've been talking with TBI about different things. I don't know if I particularly mentioned mm. that particular thing because that, that he knew I that she was okay. I'm now starting to click on all of these little symbols and and things <clears throat> that Donald has sent, you know. But yes, that is one of the things that you know struck me weird is the fact that one of them did say, um. Don't worry about her. She's okay. Yes. Okay. Ma but but as soon as he said that, did you not think, hey, I need to contact a police officer because he knows she's okay? No, I didn't think that. I okay. Didn't think that that's was, fair. You know, that's a fair. That's a fair answer. You know, I'm just asking. I just was curious because the, uh, he has been out <clears throat> there. You know, he has <clears throat> been out there. Um. <clears throat> I don't know. You're maybe you're right. You know, yeah, maybe you're right. I, I've been trying to get all of these things together. Um, like I said, you know, I've been trying to get all. I for one, I got with Ziggy, and I've been going through the emails. One of them happened to you know help Mary out, and I've been trying to go through that. I've got a family and a life. Also, I've got you know. I know. I've got um, Benny Keys on me, threatening me. And I know, and we've got we've got a little girl out there dead someplace, probably. So yes, that's why I that's why I'm asking, well, and I'm trying know, to get as many I'm not questions. To be of or anything, oh no, I, I know you're not. I, that's why I'm just asking you questions because I'm curious. You know, I get it. My own kids dead. <clears throat> right. It's I know, and you guys. So please don't be disrespectful. No, no, no. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just asking because I only have a short period of time and I'm just trying to ask you questions. Okay. I'm sorry if you feel like I am. <clears throat> um, the other was, um, I was going to ask you, um, how do you know what Candace's mental illness is? You said that she was bipolar and borderline. <clears throat> That's a pretty hefty mental illness thing which i'm not questioning that i'm just saying but but i'm just curious do you candace, know that candace told me herself <clears throat> yes that she was diagnosed and donald told me that she was diagnosed with bipolar <clears throat> matter of fact donald tried to say that when he was in jail he was also <clears throat> diagnosed with bipolar no, I, I believe that, but I didn't know how you got the dual diagnosis of bipolar and no, um, she doesn't border. have she doesn't have dual. She has borderline. They said she has bipolar, but no, she's got borderline. <clears throat> oh, okay, because you said both. You said bipolar bipolar borderline is what you had said. So I was curious about yeah, that. Well, you know. Um, she just means okay. misspoke. I think. I think she means bipolar. I think she was when she said borderline. That's okay. I totally get it. I mean, I know. Unless you're a doctor, you don't know. But I was just curious because 
I was like, damn, she got screwed in the gene pool. She got both. Damn. Uh, um, no, the other she does. She does have. <clears throat> they diagnosed her with bipolar, but I have been in there for over <clears throat> three months. And I'm telling you, she's borderline bipolar. And a uh, and like the other lady said, I think there's something going on from birth. She also was in special ed classes. You know, there's a whole lot of things going on. And, and she's also an alcoholic. She's dependent on weed and other probably other substance. So you put mix all of that up and it is a really bad combination. Sure. And I mean, it's obvious there's something there physically. I mean, her, I mean, not to be disrespectful but i mean her ears hang low there's not a lot of a neck there's no chin that is very characteristic of um it wasn't kaylee anthony it was a there was a little girl down in florida that went missing and there's a certain syndrome you can have from alcoholism and this little girl went missing huh is it fetal alcohol syndrome? Yeah, I think it, that's what it is. And I think that that is exactly what we are looking at. <clears throat> and then you go in and you mix it with abuse and stuff. And, you know, it just makes for the perfect storm. So, I mean, and, and like I said, prayer garden, I'm not being, I'm trying not to be disrespectful. I'm just trying to get it in. I just had so many questions to ask. I'm, I'm almost done, though. Um I'm sorry. Most, I'm just really touchy. You know, it's really. Oh, I don't blame you. But I, I am. I am me. going to say that most of the things that you said tonight, um, I had already heard online. I mean, and you know that. I mean, most of the stuff I had already heard online. So I was kind of disappointed in that. Uh, All right, I'm dropping her. Sorry, you guys. Please, please stop. Please. Please, coming. Stop coming up here with a. You know, I. I know. I understand. If you have these feelings, please just keep them to yourself. Just please stick to right. Re, re, um, uh, questions and just not accusations, please. She's just trying to tell her experience. Of course, we're gonna hear rehear things. Just please, can we be respectful to her when she's on panel? Sorry, maybe I'm extra touchy right now because it's just stressing me out, like, really bad. You know what I mean? If we want her to come back and show what she has, we can't sit here and just, like, do this. Do we want to see what she has tomorrow? Because we're not doing this freaking question stuff tomorrow. Again, I'm not doing this. I'm not. This is this is uh, too much for me. I know that you want to, Prager, and we can still take questions. It's just not going to be this. You know what I mean? I just yeah, Exactly. I don't blame you. You know, it's not going exactly what, how I thought. I mean, most people are being respectful. When she was being, I know that she are. wasn't being, like, she probably, yeah. she wasn't being very that. I, I don't. Being, it's just, don't, like, over and over again. You, like You got to understand, too, that a lot of people are very mad at me and upset with me because, you know, um, they feel that, you know, I was, you know, um, at first, they're supporting. And, she, and, supporting and, and you know, Donald. they're trying to pick a word apart every single word you say about borderline or bipolar. You guys, I think that she, you mean, you're saying that you're saying that she's bipolar. That I think you're just like saying it wrong, right? Or do you mean is bipolar? I don't know. I don't know if bipolar and borderline are the same thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Please, let's not pick apart every single little word. She, she's not a doctor. She's not a psychiatrist. She's just going by her experience. Due to your behavioral, like yeah, I exactly. Bipolar, you know, bipolar is just uh, it's a difference of depression and mania. Exactly, exactly. I mean, you guys, let's try to under. I mean, a lot of you guys have been here and seen like the way she speaks. She's blunt in how she speaks, and sometimes she says things that is actually her opinion. You guys need to use your critical thinking and decipher that. We're going to try to, I'm going to try to be on her about, you know, is this your opinion or is this fact? I will, I will try to stay on top of that. I'm sorry, but a lot, it's, I'm sorry. I, it makes me feel so bad, but this is stressing me out. Okay. <laughs> we got Angie. <laughs> Angie, are you okay to be on camera? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
sorry guys i feel bad but i don't yeah i don't i i felt it i'm sorry i i see people saying that you know i see people that are upset with me um for getting upset with her it's not just her it's just like having a bunch back to back like that type of stuff like you know these picking apart her every word keep repeating that this is a stuff we've heard before you guys come on you don't have to be here it's just i feel like it's a, it's a backhanded way to try to um you know i don't know that's just my opinion sorry i this is hard you guys for myself go ahead um i'm sorry dmt oh no worries um first of all kind of I hesitate to say this so quickly, but to, to kind of help Gritty a bit, a bit um, when Don says Summer is okay, he's also yeah. said he'll see her in the resurrection. So it, yeah, in his that's mind, true. she's yeah. gone and, and she's in a good place because she's with God. Right. So yeah. I don't I think, think that. that, that so oh. I, I get where Prairie Garden is on that one. Um the second thing is Walls, um, I've, I've seen some comments about, well, you know, if there's a body and the way it decomposes, there's going to be a mess and da-da-da-da-da. Let's remember, these people live in Toteville, right? And there's always spaces like under stairwells and, and other places around heating and air conditioning equipment that can easily be drywalled in around a tote. So I just kind of wanted to clarify that one for some folks. Um, Third, I'm really proud of you, Mary, and you, Prairie Garden, for your growth, and for Ziggy, for taking so many different opinions, and we can all talk as adults and say, ah, you know, and let's share information, and that's what yeah. this Q&A is about, so I'm, yeah, I'm glad that we're mostly staying on tack. I know that it's very frustrating um, we're very impassioned. Everybody wants to find some. So we're all marching to the same drummer. Um, and, and I'm glad that Ziggy kind of, you know, said, hey, let's let's ratchet it back a bit. And I know. And it makes me feel bad. Fun. Like, it's stress. It makes me feel bad, like, being like that. But, yeah. you know, keep those opinions. Uh, you can tell them in chat or something. Let's not bring that up here. To If you guys, we're trying to... Um, she, you're wanting to hear what she has. It's important to not run her off. Mm -hmm. If this experience is very bad, she's not going to come back tomorrow and show us what she has, or if she just, yeah, right. And if, tomorrow, yeah, and if probably. Ziggy hadn't have said or done anything, she wouldn't even be here right now. She'd still be over in Don's camp and wouldn't have known all these other things. So she's kind of going through an epiphany as well. So we've got to, you know, kind of realize that as well. She's been deceived for three and a half months. Um, and, and Mary knows it because she's been deceived most of her life by him. Um, so let's, let's go forward. Um, one thing, Mary, I'm a little concerned that Don was at your father's home um, and it sounds like he was taking advantage and not more than two months after he gets back to his home in uh, Tennessee, he's buying a car. Um, I hope, I don't know if y'all have thought about this, but just making sure that he didn't access your dad's credit or his finances, do an annual credit report, check bank statements, have your mom do those things, whatever. But I'm just a little concerned about how quick. That's a good point that turned on on um on him also Cher mentioned at one time in one of her videos about whose name's on the title don don't talk to me till i know whose name's on the title which kind of let me to think well gee i think they somebody did a title search and it said don wells but it didn't say senior or junior so it just it was unsettling to me so i'm glad i'm able to to talk to you and you guys may have already been down this path i don't know but it just i'm glad that i got an opportunity to kind of mention that to you and say hey a little suspicious um um let me kind of clarify on that you know um if 
the car is in my dad's name. They both have the exact same name, Donald right. Wells, okay? Um, so, but the thing of it is, if Donnie was to call my dad and ask him to co-sign for that car, he'd do it in a heartbeat. He would do it in a heartbeat. Okay. So, you know, it could be in my dad's name or it could be in both their names or just Donnie's. I don't know. But like I said, I know Donnie don't have the credit right. to buy a car like that. So how did he get it? I think right. he well, went right. through my well, dad. Yeah. And presumably there would be some down payment. So that concerned me about, you know, you talked about how Donnie would actually steal from all of you um, in the early days what's to say he's not doing that again <laughs> and even tapping into bank accounts or that kind of thing. So that's just, that's just a lot of red flags. Right. Well, well, get this. My mom and dad's account was actually hacked um, just like about two months ago. Okay. And um, God, I can't remember how much money they took out and where the money was going. Um, but I told my sister, I said, I'll bet you 10 to one Donnie did it, you know, and I know Donnie still steals because he was still in my dad's weed when he was, when he was down here last year, you know, yeah. so he hasn't changed not one freaking bit, you know, wow. Wow. so I'm so sorry to, to hear all that. Um, just uh, I'm so unfortunate. Um, one other thing uh, before I get to Prairie Gardens, Ziggy, if you'll give me a little bit of latitude. Um, Don, Don made a statement about Margie being raped on her 18th birthday by Pam's son. Do you know anything about that? Has anybody asked Margie about, hey, what, where's your dad coming up with this one? Were you asking me about that or prayer yeah, garden? I didn't know yeah. if you had any history on that at all. Yeah, well, yeah, actually, um, you know, I don't know if that actually happened. I mean, it could have because Pam's oldest son was kind of weird. You know, I'll, I'll have to put that out there. He was weird. Okay. So, you know, that could have happened because Pam had him living with them quite a bit. Okay. And when Donnie and Pam got a divorce, I remember going over to Pam's house one day up in Ogden, and she had her son and Margie. But the thing of it is, Margie had her boyfriend living there. Uh -huh. And I remember, as a matter of fact, I remember going over there, and it, it was just her birthday a couple of days before that. But Donnie wasn't. Donnie was not down here at that time. He was gone off in Arkansas or something. He took off. Yeah. But um, yeah. Um, you know, I, I never know heard anything about freak. that. But you know what? With Margie's, with Margie's, boy, her husband or whoever he is now, was there with him. There ain't no way he would have let that happen. No way yeah. at all. So I don't believe that happened. Okay. Yeah, and, and Don's statement, after he said it, it was more about, I'm just so proud of her because she didn't tell, and she dealt with it. So it just kind of made it like trying to gloss over anything that are, that's coming out of the family now, and it, it, um, and it kind of ties right into drug abuse. They'll lie, steal. Everything is about the drug, not the people that they victimize, but yet they have a very victim mentality and, and can, and can suck blood out of a turnip. If you let them, it's, it's so unfortunate. Um, prayer garden. Thank you um, so much for sharing. Um, and I'm sure it is very frustrating. Initially you thought this was your friend and now he's a suspect and he's, a big suspect and, and it seems like the evidence just keeps pointing more and more to him and Candace. Um, so I'm sure that this is a, a, a strange thing for you. Um, along those lines, 
there's been mention of the vehicles moving and, and two questions on that. Did Don ever mention in his timeline when, where, or why he went to lunch or left his job site that day? And the second part then is, did Don say anything about Candace leaving the driveway at Ben Hill more than once that day after they got back from being in Kingsport? Donald told me that he did mention um, him being at work and he said that they're asking me questions. You know, I should phrase everything in Donald's words instead of my own. And because I know, I think that's a lot of why I'm getting attacked. You know, people would rather hate me than hate the person that, you know, Donald, um, that the one that the real person you know, he's the real person that should be being hated, not me. Um, yeah, and I think it, I think a lot of it too is just frustration because I, we've got great news today. We got Larry Millette arrested, and everybody's kind of waiting for the clink clink to go on Don and Candace. Exactly, and, as and we're trying to solve it. But you know, as the woman that was just came up, you know, she was saying, "Mary, it takes time." You know, all of these yeah. things take time, and then but. You know, um, with me, she says, well, they'd already had cuffs on them. No, they wouldn't because yeah. it took time to get all, you know, she's not giving me the same um, respect that she, you know, was an understanding that she was giving Mary on that particular subject. Yeah. And that's because she didn't want to give me that respect because really she has a problem with me, you mm. know, and that's yeah. okay. But you know, don't think I'm an idiot and not seeing where, you know, you're going wrong there with me. And yeah, yeah. One defense mode, you know, I'm sorry. But, um... You're you handling know. it really well, Claire Garden. I yeah, just you are. Very well. I'm trying. But, you know, I can't help, you know, wanting to give someone... This is America, where you're innocent until proven guilty. And, you know, I can't help for, you know... um wanting to believe in somebody that wasn't worth believing in. I mean, I'm not the only human that's made that mistake. Look how many divorces are out there. People make it every day. So, you know, I'm not the only one that, you know, that makes a, those kind of mistakes. I mean, how many times do people open the door up thinking as a pizza man that was a robber? You know, right. you just want to trust people. And, you know, and, 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 you know, these people, they're not getting attacked for making that mistake. Oh, well, that, you know, people make those mistakes. Oh, but listen, you know, let's hang prayer garden. Maybe it's my name. I don't know. Maybe it's my bluntness. Maybe I don't know what it is, but, you know, or maybe they just been on a hate crusade for so long um, because they knew the truth, you know. I do believe that a lot of people knew the truth and, and, you know, they're saying, well, well, prayer garden, you're telling us uh, nothing that we, I'm clarifying it. You might have heard it, but you're through me. You're clarifying it. I'm telling you, yes, it's fact. It's fact. And that's something you didn't have out here before. Yeah. From, from what you're, yeah. From what you've you witnessed. Know, it's fact. It is from Donald's own mouth. I'm telling you guys what Donald is saying. I'm giving yeah. you the facts from, from his own, you know, I know he lies in a lot of areas, but, you know, also there's a lot of areas that, you know, Donald, I don't think was lying. And, and yeah, and, and in every lie, there is some truth. You know, mm -hmm. there is. That's that's very a true statement. Exactly. Just like the nut house. You know, I he put it as his story, but the truth was it's Mary's. You right. know, so there you go is an, is a prime example. And but I don't like being, you know, I'm having to feel guilty and apologize and, and, and everything and get myself upset, you know. And as the other person said, well, I know that, you know, I know it's not my job to apologize for other people. Well, I've been apologizing for Donald for three days now. You know, for right, three days. right. Right. And most most everybody here has has had since June 15th to really digest this from a we suspect the parents perspective. And you really haven't. You've 
you've had about a, maybe a week of really switching sides of the house and that's a big that's a big turnaround so i'm sure a lot of things are like i've had a Whoa. week i've had a i've had a week of actually coming out on donald which i tried to come out on donald a lot sooner but because everybody thought i was him they wouldn't let me come up on their panels oh true true and and if i came up on their panels i couldn't take the risk of them screenshotting me and putting my family you know and yeah. danger because this is you know not is this ain't a normal case so to be playing with and so you know i had a lot on my plate also and i was and it, it wasn't a week you know i as i said you know when he did that to mary i right there started to realize exactly what they was not that i didn't already know it in my gut but now it's you know it's visible it's there i know and then from there, you know, I, I started, I wasn't, I wanted to come forward and really right then and there's where I changed. That's right mm -hmm. where, and, you know, I'm like, whoa, yeah. you, this is wrong <laughs> here. But, you know, I didn't want to get out at that point because I wanted as much information as I could get on the truth. And, and, and yeah, what I'm glad you didn't get out like sooner because, and, and you know, and yeah. then, and that's when you know I started really taking note to you know Donald's habits and what he was doing. I talked to him at work a lot. I talked to him at his house. I talked to him on the road. Um, and you know, and yes, I was able to get a lot of information because you know at his at his work, for instance, um, he would leave his work. Um, in the morning somewhere, you know, around, I say 10, 11 o'clock, he would go to this restaurant and he would get like, he ordered two, they seemed to know him too. He was getting the eggs and the sausage and some uh, hash browns and, and he went there for like, and then um, another day he went through a drive through and ordered up um, some, some food there. And then he usually around, I took note that around two or three o'clock, Donald would run to the carry out to get his cigarettes and something to drink and go back to work because he did that with me quite a few times. And, and, and also um, where he was going to the carry out and stuff, that's a, at the time that carry out has to be around that place where he was, you know, the guy came in and started screaming and stinking and stinking because that's about the time he was, I noticed he was going to that carry out and leave him work because I even mentioned it to him. I said, you know, um, they said you wasn't around, but you seem to be going to this carry out around that time, you know, that they were supposedly, you were uh, about three o'clock, three thirty, you know, and it seems like that's when you're running out of this place to go get cigarettes, something to drink or whatever. Maybe that's where you were. When they said you were missing, you know, and um, so that's, you know, that's what I'm saying. And also on the drive home, because he said he don't lose, didn't lose Candace the whole time. But I do know that on his drive home, there is a certain area that does drop the call. It will drop the call because I've been on, on the phone with him more than once coming home. And it does. This one area drops the call. So it makes you think maybe he wasn't coming from the same place as normal. Oh. You think? I don't know. Because he said, because he said, well, this time, you know, usually they'll she drops, but she didn't drop the whole time. And they were on, um, he said they were talking through Facebook Messenger. Um, so he said that she usually drops, but I better pull somebody else up on panel. But yeah, please. Thank you so please much, Angie. Me. I, I like kept you up on because I, I was trying to calm down from and you were like really respectful. And I appreciate that. So that's why I kept you up a little longer because I was thank trying you. to calm down. Us. <laughs> but all right. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really. Uh, I, hey, thank you so much for um, waiting so patiently. I am crying. I appreciate it. Oh, hello. Back in the Oh, per, yeah. Per, I'm not going to. She I'm was, not, she's just one, she's been like, she, you know, I needed her because she's the only one 
that's actually came up tonight and actually understood, you know, what I'm going through and, you know, and really focused on, she touched on, you know, everything there. She touched on everything and, yeah. You know, some people just I have to try to put, you, put themselves in your shoes and if uh, they can keep like, they're, they're allowed their opinions and, and chat and stuff. Just let's not bring that up here is for, for questions. So let's not do, you know, that up here. It's just like, we got too many people waiting and stuff. And yeah, I, she had a calm tone. So that's why. So anyways, uh, thank you. Um, I'm the crime. How are you doing? Um, uh, good. Can you hear me, Ziggy? Yes, I can. Like your accent. Hi. Hi thank you. <laughs> um, first, um, I just wanted to say, Ziggy, thank you because, um, this is really, really good what you've, do, you've done over the last couple of days. And you've got, you've got the patience of a saint to uh, juggle it all. Yeah. Um, you've done a great job. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, I just wanted to say, um, like probably everyone in here, I've been following the case from the start. Um, and it's, it's really clear. A lot of us have, we're invested. Our hearts are invested in summer and we're passionate about it. Um, she's not just another missing child. It's, it's so sad that there are so many of them all over the world. Um, but she's captured our hearts because uh, we can see um, the possible um, difficult life, the short life that she's lived, it's its just heartbreaking. Um, and I think that's why people um, occasionally get, um, this is my first time on panel, I'm quite nervous, so bear with me. Oh, you can't go, um, do it. Just, just try to, you. just like talk like you're talking on the phone, that's how I try to, and just I, not pay attention to the chat while you're talking. Yeah, great, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I just think it's a lot of passion that comes out. And I think, Prayer Garden, um, you have been helpful. Um, a lot of us, like I said, we've been invested from day one and literally keep an eye on everything that's going on in the case. And you have um, confirmed a lot for us. So so that is really good, and, and, and I thank you for that. Um, but, yeah, I put, I, you probably just need to remember that we're all pretty invested. You know, as much as you are, we would be all invested because it's just so tragic. Um, and uh, I wanted to, if I could, um, speak to Mary. Is Mary there? Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Um, I just wanted to say um, that you are just a sweetheart. Um, you've been just so um, beautiful through all this, all this really, really heartbreaking stuff. Um, and I think you are a very strong woman. I think that's quite clear. And I hope that you can stay strong through the rest of it and that justice is um, brought for, for you and Jeannie and everybody that's been affected. The other thing I wanted to ask you, uh, Mary, um, do you think that um, Don and Candace were uh, surprised at how many people were wanting justice for Summer and were so prepared to dig deeper and find out more about Summer? Do you think they thought that she might maybe just be another missing child? Uh, I kind of think that that... Yeah, that has went in my mind. The you know yeah. maybe yeah. Donnie and Candace both had something to do with it, and then when they, I think when they came out with her missing and everything, I think that they just thought, well, she wasn't going to get no recognition or nothing, and she was just going to be, you know, forgot about and blown in the wind, you know, and they would be okay and everything, but. Uh, Everybody, everybody fell in love that with that sweet little girl, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah and that, yeah, I, I kind of got that feeling from the start, and I, I'm, I'm afraid I might be a bit of a skeptic, a skeptic. Um, but I have seen, you know, 
seen the effects of drugs on people and from the start I was really concerned about um, everything. Nothing looked right to me right from the start. And that's why I, um, and I think that's probably what a lot of people felt. Um, that's why I was interested. Um, and I mean, crimes against anyone is is horrific, but poor little innocent babies, it just, it just gets to everyone's heart. Um, so sad. Um, but um, I just wanted to, um, yeah, send you love, Mary, because, yeah, I just adore it when you come on panels. It's always good to hear from you. And um, thank you, everyone. And I just wanted to say, too, there's a lot. I see a lot of Australians in, in the uh, community. Um, yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of them. That, that um, what's her name, that one that is in cahoots with BK? Oh, Aussie Insider. Aussie, um, Aussie Insider. Say? Yeah, Aussie Insider. Yeah. She's not a good example. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting us know that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, don't don't paint us all with the same brush because we are good people. Um, and um, thank you so much for letting me come up. Oh, you're welcome. My, my daughter has always... You know, she's set on living in Australia. Like, she wants to move to Australia. She just thinks it's so easy to just to get up and go. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm a, yeah, they don't make it easy. It is a beautiful country, and of course, so that's yeah. the other thing. I, if I can briefly talk about it, the um, um, with some of the domestic violence. I think it's domestic violence uh, month over there, um, and. If, and with my my um, yeah. these cases are very concerning, and I'm not sure if it um, just uh, because of social media that we have increased awareness about this. But there are too many women and children dying at the hands of spouses. Uh, I know there's men as well, um, but there's a real problem, and it seems to be on the increase in the current climate with COVID and everything um, seems to be getting worse. And, um, yeah, we need to bring more attention to all that as well. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so just... Oops, go ahead. Um, yeah. Um, I just hope uh, that there's justice for summer. Yeah. Well, I know, right? Every day, like I say, every almost every day I like come on here. I'm like, hopefully today will be the day. You know, what time yeah. is it there right yeah. now in Australia? It is. I have to quickly my phone. It's Just curious. Two fifty three in the afternoon. Oh wow! <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I go around just doing my thing, uh, doing is housework. It and I is it Wednesday? Is it is it Wednesday? There. It is Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All <laughs> and right. um, I just I do I paint and go around and do my housework while I listen to these things. So <laughs> good. I'm glad that you were had wonderful. something to do while you waited because it was, uh, it was always long. yeah always busy. <laughs> well, thank you so okay. much for coming up. No, thank you for having me. Take care, okay. everybody. You too. All right. Bye. Uh, Lisa's next. Lisa, uh, if you, are you okay with being on camera? You can nod yes or no. Uh, cover your camera real quick while I pull you up and then I'll... Oh, there you go. You turned it off. You're good. You turned it off. Okay. There you go. Thank you for uh, waiting, Lisa. Oh, oh, no problem. Can you hear me all right? Yep. Okay, great. Um, I'm calling from Canada. So as you know, this, this story... Um, and wow. it's important it's important to note that this um, little girls in the hearts of people all over the world I'm sure you've heard that before but it is in fact true so yeah. you all you ladies up there are rock stars in my opinion oh. um, and yeah I mean just keep the tenacity going and keep going and don't give up because summer wells will not you know you know if worst case scenario she will not um, leave here without a huge, huge, huge following and, and making a major, major impact. So, so anyways, ladies, my, um, 
My one question or comment, or I want your comments on it, is from the very, very, very beginning of this case, and I have followed it quite extensively, I have felt that there is multiple things going on at once here. Um, I know we like to sort of compartmentalize, is it this person, is it this person, is it this person? But I strongly believe that this is um, very multi-layered and very um, perhaps larger than what a lot of people think that it is. Uh -huh. And I just want to also say that this is strictly my opinion. <laughs> um, you know, so, you know, everyone has that entitlement and, and this is just all how I feel about it. So I have felt very, very strongly that um, a person in their church who I, I don't know if I can specifically name, <laughs> but he is mentioned all the time, the flute player. I believe that he yeah. is. Um, in, yes, I believe, in fact, he's he's again, in my opinion, very much involved in this. But I, I again, want to stress that I, I think that this has got long, long tentacles and and uh, we need to all be extremely patient. So um, I also want to just comment or maybe think about if, if you guys agree with me. I know that you ladies um, are really, you know, sort of honing in on one area, which I completely agree with. But do you think it is plausible that there's, is a little more more to this than what meets the yes. eye. Yes, uh, me, my my opinion and Mary's opinion um, are different than a little bit different than Prayer Gardens. Prayer Garden believes that uh, Candace uh, somehow, you know, she hurt Summer or did something, and yeah, and that possibly Don knows and is covering up. Me, I believe. And I think that Mary also believes, but I don't want to speak for, if I'm wrong, I'm sure she'll say. Uh, I believe that she was, I believe that trafficking does have something to do with it. I do. That's just. Um, yeah. Yes. I mean, I'm, yeah. Sorry to go right in there and say yes, but I, I, I completely agree with you, unfortunately. And that's the saddest part about this is because in my opinion, this was completely preventable. Um, CPS really, really should be, again, in my opinion, very yeah. ashamed of themselves. Um, this, none of this should have ever, ever happened. And, and again, we can go back to that familial history and things like that. And it's just a shame that, that um, somewhere along the line, the system, and it's not just in your country, it's in my country as well. The system needs to be fixed. And we need to start prioritizing ourselves a little bit more. But another question, ladies. Does anyone know specifically how verbal or nonverbal Summer was or is, pardon me? Um, I don't know, obviously. Um, I don't know if Mary really knows either. Um, per, I don't think any of us know because we don't. I mean, now, Prayer Garden, you've said that from what Don and Candace have told you that she is, you know, she was perfectly normal, right? According yes. to Donna Candace. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah. Well, I've just heard various reports or, or you know, yeah. opinions or what have you. If she was maybe on the spectrum or something and maybe not mm -hmm. as verbal as she should have been because I'm sure that that could have contributed to a lot of extra issues on top of that. Um just uh, a little comment about the car you guys were talking about earlier. Does anyone know when the the Subaru was purchased, or any kind of idea of when that would be, or or if you know it was purchased after, after the October twenty twenty um, domestic Mary, violence, Mary, violence, Mary, violence incident? Mary's trying to talk. Mary's trying to talk. Um, well, you know, I thought the. Um, I thought Donnie bought that car for Candace so she would drop the charges on him oh, when he got wow. put in jail. I heard that he promised her that he would buy her a new car if she would drop the charges. Now, I just, I heard that through the family. So, I don't know how much of it is true. But then again, she didn't start posting pictures of that car until December. So, I don't, I, I'm not, you know, I don't know. That's just what I've heard, so. Okay, um, 
Yeah, and you know it, that's that's where it gets completely muddy because he was he he himself Don was saying Donnie was saying that he was paying the six hundred dollars a month car payment, and then there was the other rumors that of him possibly you know using that as a sales tactic for Candace. So you know that who who knows if we'll ever really find that out. But that itself, that just in itself is um, really problematic. Um, Okay, one last question, and mm -hmm. this is um, extremely, I think, important too, because Don has been very muddy um, about when he answers to different panels about how long the family knew David Dotson um, prior to Summer going missing. Um, he waffled a little bit, and the story uh, changed a few little times quite subtly, but um, if you listen to enough things... Um, you can pick up on it. So I'm just wanting to know if anyone um, has any idea possibly um, how long that gentleman uh, knew the family and more importantly, how long he knew Summer before she went missing. Oh, uh, I don't, uh, do you know Prayer Garden? You're talking about David Dotson, right? Sorry. Yes. I was, uh, gosh, I thought he said, I don't think they knew each other very long at all. I don't know. Do you know Prayer Garden? Yeah, the body burner. Yes. yes. Um, they He started going to their church, and he didn't, I mean, he wasn't a, he got to know Candace and Summer um, somewhat at the church there, and, but he hadn't ever been to their home before um, when Candace called and was wanting Robin, and he took Robin up there and then he came back up and took the boys out so that they could handle the searches and the police and all that was going on up there he was just trying to be a friend put a hand out there um yeah. he was viciously attacked like mr dobbs and so mm -hmm. many others and for you know all of this and um donald and candace don't care they're sitting back laughing uh, their backsides off at, at all of y'all I can yeah. it. I've been I've been on the phone. I've been in there while they're, you know, cracking up and they've got a lot of support up there on that hill. Um doing conference calls and everything else. I mean they have they have party lines going on up there with people. And if you go they'll call, you know, if you go up on their party line and say what they don't like, you get cut off like right now. Trust me, I did. I got cut off. Um, cause they don't, oh my goodness. you know, they majority rules and, um, you know, they're up there protecting him. Um, quite a few people. I don't understand this group of people or why they're, they're doing what they're doing, aiding and abetting people that should be in prison. But like I said, I, you know, what can I do? I'm out here trying to tell you guys what's going on in that cesspool of snakes, but yeah. Um, yeah. And I wanted to say real quick before you go on that. Okay. So we did have somebody else just drop. Um, so nobody else after I'm going to, we'll take the rest of the people that's up here and then that's going to be all for tonight. Um, we have after, um, let's see. After Lisa, we have, so we have just four more and that's it. So Diane's the last one that we're going to take tonight. Um, just letting everybody know. So no more coming up on, because it's going to, it will go on forever. Um, and I just, I just have one last comment. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so then I can speed this up. Um, no, I, I just wanted to make sure I, I, we're going on four and a half hours. I was yeah. just out <laughs> Yeah. Before. Um, I was, I was, um, I guess, lucky enough um, and serendipitously enough um, on or in the or on the online audience with the Dr. Phil show recently. Purely coincidental, um, oh, but I was relieved to see the the subject matter. <laughs> Let's just say that. And I'm going to end with this: that I think that there's going to be a lot of um, people very surprised at, at that. Um, and I, you know, I mean. I, sh I don't think I should say more than that. You were, because you were in the panel. You were in the audience for Don, Donna, or Donna Candace being there. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> yes. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't tell us anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was. Well, I had applied before, oh. and then when you get called in for it, you know, it's all online, obviously. Um, that Did you they don't make know. You guys sign some kind of waiver that you can't well, say there is some small print. I mean, it's all done by email and, and stuff with CBS, but it um, the. I just purely out of, I just don't want to, you know, rock any boats or anything like that. But what I will say is, us? yeah, yeah. What I will say is it's, um, I, I believe, I believe it's going to be a double episode or like a, you know, back to back episode because it, it was a double taping. So unless they edit it down, so it is quite lengthy. Um, so the rumors are true, but um, it isn't a rumor because they've based, like I believe the Rogersville News had already said that uh -huh. um, it, they were doing it. So I'm not letting the cat out of the bag about that. But no, yeah. um, the interestingly enough, the the behavioral panel, which I'm not sure if your audience is familiar with, um, their top yep. uh, body language. Um, experts, yeah. experts in their field, like world experts, and they were also there. Oh, so. Wow. Yeah. Um, People it's, are like, spill the tea, please. Spill it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, man. I don't know when it's going to be aired, but please. I just, I, I'll just you tell you this. Can you email me personally? <laughs> sure, sure. But I will tell you this. I, when I left, I felt like, you know, you're sort of listening as a juror, almost listening to some of the things. And, um, yes. you know, I thought Dr. Bill was pretty diplomatic with them. I can tell you that. And probably a lot more than I would have been. And um, the I left thinking that they really, really were focusing on her. On Candace? Yes. So that's oh, all I'll, I'll want to say. Okay. Uh, yeah. the, there's a real say, focus on her. Um, to the question, <laughs> is it true to the rumors that she walked off? Can you answer or not? Um, yes. Not when it was actually on Dr. Phil's taping itself, like when they were on the audience like his audience, but when they were doing like pre-tapes, you know, when they'll put prior tapes into the live feed, um, they, um, she did walk off on one of the behavioral panel. Um, okay. So the behavioral So the answer is yes. Well, the answer so, is yes. Okay. But so it's, you know, in a sort of non-direct way she did. Yes. So the behavioral panel and Dr. Phil were kind of uh, in cahoots together with that. And that's why probably behavioral panel hasn't came out with their analysis yeah, yet. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, we can all read between the lines. And, and again, I don't want to really say too much more because, you no, know, they do have like do copyright rights and stuff. So I think everything I've said so far, you guys probably know. And I just told you my feeling about how I, yeah. how I okay. felt after I listened. I won't ask you so. anymore unless you yeah. Yeah, uh, sure, sure. But I'm, I believe it will be airing soon. But I mean, you know, the, it's just another, I guess, one part of the puzzle among all the other pieces of the puzzle that we've already talked about. It's just sort of one more link to put in there that uh, is very, very interesting. So, he so was thank very, you. He was very fair to him is what you're saying. Uh, I, I felt that he was very diplomatic. Yes. Okay. Yes, very. Wow. So, yeah. Well, thank um, you. Yeah. Oh, well, well thank you. And and again, ladies, I you know my heart goes out to the to all the missing children, and you know anyone that's um, a victim of SA or or DV or whatever, and, and we just need to stand up and and kick some butt. So thank you. Good night. Hey, thank you. Well, that was really interesting. Um, that was really interesting. Too bad she couldn't say more, but. I don't know what, yeah, she might be afraid of like what she can say and not. So we have uh, four more and then that's the, you know, who's, who's up here on the panel or uh, in backstage is all we're going to take for the night. Um, Jenna, are you okay being on cam camera? Okay. Uh, do you know how to turn your camera off? If not, um, okay, there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Yep. Thank you okay. for waiting. No, thank you for having me. Um, this is my first time coming on like this. Um, I'm a friend of Candace. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Um, no, you're good. <laughs> no, you're good. Mary, um, you're a very strong woman. And don't stop what you're doing. Yeah. Um. um I do know, is it garden, prayer garden? Yes. yes. I do know her. I've, I've been on the phone with Candace plenty of times while she was on the phone with Don. 
Oh, okay. So you can vouch for her that she has actually been in yes. contact with Dawn and okay. Yes. Um, Candace did not like Don talking to her. Yeah. Um, the simple fact of the reason is because I don't know her personally. I'm not here to judge no one. Mm-hmm. But um, he was a, from my understanding, what she told me is that he was supposed to move with her. He was leaving Candace for her. Oh, okay. And I've been on the phone with him several, several times. Are you times. sure that this is the right one? Because I know that there's a couple people that, a couple ladies that he's talking to. Are you sure it's? No, it's her. That's what Candace is telling you. Yeah, this. I, well, I was on the phone one night <laughs> with her when she probably knows who I am. Oh. Um, because they video chat, and Candace doesn't like that. Oh. No, 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 that is not true. I that is not true. The only one that I ever video chatted with was Candace for forty some minutes. Donald, I didn't ever, not even once, video chat with Donald. That's not truth. I don't want to say your real name on here. Yeah, please don't. In respect for me, please. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No, most definitely not. Um, Candace has had a hard life. I'm not saying she's innocent. I'm not saying Don's innocent either. Mm -hmm. um, but I do know, and I've been watching, you know, Candace had a theory in her head that Summer's still alive. I mean, I've seen her go out and purchase things for Summer. And I've seen Don come in here and ask her why is she purchasing the stuff when summer's gone. Wow, are you serious? Yeah. Um, How long have you been friends with Candace? Um, well, after I seen her interview on uh, Chris Madonna's show, oh. I seen her interview, and see, I'm kind of like I've had a trouble past myself. Uh huh. And I I relate to Candace. Yeah. So you know. I became friends with Candace. We talk every day, you know, like practically all day. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I've seen their ups and their downs, but I mean, I don't, it's really hard to say. I mean, I don't know what happened to summer. Candace, Candace is praying. She's still alive. Yeah. Candace does drink. Mm hmm. But she, she other things that you know of. Well, you don't have to say. I know well, I mean, she doesn't, you know, she used to smoke weed. Well, besides that. Yeah. But as far as the other stuff, no. Um, like, did you see that? Uh, and I understand she's your friend. So if it's just something you don't want to talk about just because she's your friend. Um, but do you see that live that Benny had her that, or had Dawn on? And Dawn was definitely intoxicated. And Candace was there in the chair. Yeah, out and her eyes were open. It looked like she was dead. It was bad. Yeah, she was she was intoxicated. So she wasn't on anything. Well, of course, I mean, how would you really know? I guess if she, unless she tells you. Yeah, no, she was. She, she was intoxicated. That was it. Um, she drinks whiskey. Okay. Um, that's she does that every afternoon during the daytime. She drinks water, and then. In the in the afternoon, she she has her some drinks. Yeah. Uh, what's your? Are you able to? Sh or do you not want to share your YouTube uh, username, or would you rather not? Well, I can share my U YouTube username if you would like. Yeah, I don't know how to it? do that. Yeah. What, what is it? I was just curious. Yeah. I'm trying to see how do I get to that. No, you could just tell me what it is. I'm just curious. Well, it's Jenna Hyman. That's all it is. Oh, how do you spell it? Or can you email me? Which is <laughs> yeah. If and I mean, so so you believe Candace doesn't have? Um, <coughs> I don't think Candace. I mean, to be honest with you, of course you're. I mean, I mean, it puts you in a hard I, spot to because they're probably listening. I'm just like I'm just warning you. I know. Okay. To be honest with you, I don't really don't. I don't know at this moment. At first, I thought they did not have that. She did not have nothing to do with this baby. I've seen her cry. I mean, I've seen her ball. I mean, like literally cry. 
Oh, you have? Okay. And I've, I've seen the stuff she's bought for summer. I mean, and I, I mean, it's just, it's sad. So does Dawn act really suspicious to you or? Is to me? Yeah. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. I'm a, they're going to bash me after this one. Dawn is a narcissist. Yeah, I've always thought so. But, you know, I'm not a psychiatrist. So I'm just saying. Done. Like the time that's never his fault, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like he, um, I mean, he just runs around and runs around with the same thing. I mean, I understand. Yeah. You, you, you go to church and stuff like that. I understand that. But something happened to that baby. Yeah. You don't think there's any way that there was an accident? And, um, and Kenneth just doesn't know how to come out about it. Like now it's all, you know, here we are a few months past and four months past. And now it's like, wow, she's in too deep and she can't say. That could be what it is, to be honest with you. But I honestly don't think that it was, it was her. I think it was somebody else. And, and that person knows who, who it is. Yeah. So you've seen some questionable behavior by Dawn is oh, yeah. more so than, than Candace is what your opinion is. Yeah, most definitely. Do you think she's a, uh, gosh, I, I hate this cause I know that you're friends with her. Um, but, and I totally get it if you don't want to answer because I don't want, you know, I think, it's probably, well, I don't want to ask that either. Well, I'm probably going, she probably won't talk to me after she re she watches this. Oh, okay. So I might as well ask you whatever I want. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, you're more than Well, I was going to ask you if uh, you think that she's abused by Dawn. She's mentally, verbally, and I, uh, I was on the phone with them when they was visiting, when they was coming back from Hollywood. Uh-huh. And I did see him punch her. Punch her? Yeah, he punched her. Like in the face? No, he punched her on the arm. Well, either way, still he shouldn't be punching her. Wow. Does she threaten to call the cops on him a lot? Well, I was on the phone with him one night and she went in there and told him, you know, that she that something about calling the police and I can't remember exactly what was going on. They was arguing because he's on the phone with a female. Mm -hmm. And um, she like was, they was arguing. Basically, they was both intoxicated. And he told, she told him, you know, I'm going to call the police. Or no, he said that he was going to call the police. And she said, well, call the police because they're going to get you anyways. She said that? Yeah. Was he supposedly on the phone with me? Mm-hmm. And no, that ain't the way it went at all. She came in there and said she was calling the police and she said, You're going to jail. That's what she told him. You're so you so you are you are the person I'm talking about. I'm definitely the person that was on the other line and yes. that, night, that night. And yes, she threatened him <clears throat> and she don't want him talking to and leave her for leave. Donald hasn't ever any way, form, or how. Even, you know, even he said he was going to get a divorce from her. Because he's he never said, said that. Yeah, he told me he was. He he's, I, I talked to Don and Candace every single day. He's never said that he was getting a divorce from her. He, did. he does not. Yes, he he did. doesn't but claim. As a matter of fact, I may have it on tape. So I got the text message that you just emailed that right before I got on this live tonight. I didn't. Candace, I, I did Candace not sent me nobody. the. Uh, you're coming from Benny Keys. You're one of those. No, baby. I don't watch Benny Keys. I don't watch Benny Keys. You were up there on that um, conference call and uh, playing with Donald and Candace and them. Yeah, you are. You are a supporter of them. They brought you in here tonight because I'm in no. here to some stuff. No. Up. Listen, um, yeah, or any way, form, or how had any? I can, I can send, I can send you the screenshots. I don't care what you send because it ain't me. I don't watch, I don't watch Benny Keith. I don't watch Cher. 
Because hey, I saw uh, Brian's right uh, nobody. Hey, Pergarden, she was, hey, uh, let's hear her out, like, as far as, like, let's not go back and forth about, like, yeah. I I don't just, like, hear her out about, like, not about, you, like, you particularly, because. Um, Bring it up. Bring up what I wrote. I don't support Beanie, and I don't support Cher. Um, but you did say, okay, Jenna, um, you did say about, you did say that Don was going to get a, that Candace, or Candace told you that Don said he was going to get a divorce from her to leave her for. Don to told, Candace told out. me that he was leaving her for the woman Some that like is on this chat line. That is a lie. I mean, I don't. I can't help what Candace says, but she's a liar. Did Donald, you? I'm a, Donald I don't believe in Candace for for not me because I had made it clear to both of them. I like just like you. I was nothing but a friend. Did nothing you? But a friend just and I and you know what? I tried to support Candace. Candace is mean. She's rude, and 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 I don't care. You know it as well as I know it. You know, you're sitting there portraying her. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. And I do think I got her screaming in the background and carrying on. Maybe people need to hear it. People need to hear how she feels about her husband talking to other females in front of her. He was, you know what? She was welcome to join the conversation. What is her problem? He was walking outside talking to you on the phone. Because she's cussing him. She's screaming at him. She's and I was sitting screaming. right there. I'll tell you what. She didn't want me talking to him because she didn't want him giving out information that he was giving, you know, about what happened on 110 Ben Hill Road. And you know it. You I'm sorry, it. but if you believe anything well, that comes out of Don's mouth. Told him not to go on the Dr. Phil show. What do you think, sissy? And I said, yeah, I think he should. Click. I got knocked off. He calls me up and well, you know, because they don't agree with you. Cece, yeah. I, I know, you I know, know everything. You no, know, you do know. Yes, you do. You're the big supporter of them. No, I, 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 I am there for Candace. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, you're supporting Candace. But whatever. do I believe Don? No, I don't. Yeah, they're one. They're one. You can't support one without the other, hun. They're one. You I am there for Candace and Candace, Candace only. Yeah, well, you see how much Candace going to talk to you after this. Well she, said, well, she did say she was, a, you know, that Candace, yeah, well, you know, no. Candace probably will not talk to me after this, but I am defending Candace. But I mean, well, and I'm Don, you know, what? what? Don is a liar. I'm not defending him anymore. You know, he's a crap ass piece of shit that knows where his daughter's buried because, you know, he knows. And like you said, he said, hey, why are you buying this stuff? She's not here anymore. He knows she's not coming back. And that's and what I told Candace. You call TBI about that? I, I sure did. did. I did. Yeah. yeah. I did. Hey, I know. Per Garden, don't be mad that I'm letting her speak, please. I just, uh, she wasn't being no, I'm not mad, rude, but I'm not rude. I'm sorry, I wasn't being rude, but I knew who she was. No, you weren't being rude at all. Like, I'm I think this allow, not miss, she's not going to come uh, here and say lies on me. No. She didn't mention who you were. She said she, no, she, she, she knows she her didn't name. who I was, but she, you know, that was me on the phone. I know for a fact when it went down there and she twisted it around, like, you know. To, to suit Candace. No. You have to tell the truth. You huh? don't like Candace because of Don. Don has told you a bunch of lies like about Candace. I don't like either one of them. They're both shit. But I'm going to tell you. You right wanted now. Don to move in with you, baby. You're a liar. You're a liar, lady. You're a liar. I'm going to let you know something right now. Right, right this minute. You know what? I, I have money. I live a good life, and I ain't living with no slobs. I've like got you. text you messages know, your, your boy, from your, your bunking boy down there. Let me tell you something. I ain't never mess with nobody that rides on the passenger side. You know what I'm saying? No, thank you. If he ain't driving that car, I ain't having nothing to do with him. Period. I don't lower myself to Domwell standards. Thank you. You're the one up there on their land. Hey, uh, Jenna, would you email me those screenshots or whatever? Maybe it's not yeah, the same. I'll email you the screenshots. Okay. And I'll email you the screenshot that Sissy sent uh, right before I got on your live. Okay. It's, uh, do, do you know how to get to my... It's okay. Hey, listen. It's okay. Um, 
Both of you I'm guys. not upset. I'm not upset no, about nothing. No, tonight. No, tonight. You're fine. Lying. No, uh, listen. Listen, she's just going by what she's uh her you know, it could be a miscommunication. Come on, let's let's Yeah, let's they ain't Chris, no she's here. just going she's she's Candace's she's going on the side she's Candace's friend and you were Don's friend, you know, so you guys have some different differing opinions. Jenna, do you know how to where my email's at? Just go to your page and um yeah, yeah or underneath this video of if I'll put it in chat several times too, okay? I'll send it out to you. Hey, is, um, I, I'm now I'm calling you. Now I'm calling you, sissy. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling up. Um, because you look, know, I didn't come on here to cause my problems. No, she didn't my phone was going off all night tonight, and I didn't answer it at all. And I didn't write Donald shit. So you know, to say that you're a liar. And just like Benny Keys today, Reggie you you up. sent it to Candace. This was a text message from you to Candace, not Don. Candace. Nope. I'm sorry. So you're saying that you're you're you, Don or Candace told you that they uh I, she contacted them today I, about what? Yeah, I have the screenshot from Messenger or is an email or something. Yeah, if well, I can come out, it, it was she was actually Sissy was going off on Candace, and I can I mean it's it was two pages. She had to screenshot both and send it to me. I mean it's it's not a big deal. I'm just I'm just saying. I mean Don's yeah. not innocent, guys. Oh no no no! I don't think so. I mean, Miss uh, Pergon knows that my um, yeah, <coughs> I think she knows that I, many of us don't care for Don, and she's. I think she's just her mind has been changed a little bit, and she's slowly processing everything. So yeah, and I'm not upset about that. But don't come on here back. She's bashing Candace, and Candace is. I mean, she's not Candace ain't innocent, but Candace goes through a lot with Don that she doesn't even see. And you know what? People that like Cher was talking to Don. And you know what? Cher went through a lot. Matter of fact, Cher had to shut down for a few days because Candace of, is his wife. wife. You know, I don't care about wife. Cher. I don't care about Benny. Oh, I, what's all oh, what's Jenna? What's you don't a, care about nothing because you're up there right now. Um backing Candace for some on God known reason. You know, I don't know why. But, you know, I do know you guys had your little calls and you guys have been up there doing your little This thing. is my first you, ever, you know, first you, ever on a live stream. What is so well, I got a screenshot of something you said to Candace. Well, pull that screenshot up because you know what? I don't lie. If I, if I send it to Candace, I'll say I sent it to Candace. Okay, well, I got it. No she sent it through me to Messenger. But, you know, you come out here. You came out here tonight. And Candace is going to keep talking to you because Candace is the one that sent you. You and Benny and Cher, all you guys want to shut me down because listen to me, but listen to me, Sissy. Not. I don't deal with Cher. Well, I don't deal with Benny. Yeah. What is you know. what is uh what is uh what, do what do they say to Cher or about Cher to you, uh, Jenna? Well, Candace can't stand Cher. Yeah, that's what. Of course. See, you guys actually have a lot of the same opinions. Like we, you know, I mean, just don't. Uh, you're friends with the opposite people and it's I mean I don't I don't I'm not here to argue I'm just yeah, here to clear right now I am not their friend I am not their friend I'm not shit to them I'm nothing to them nothing nothing Them scumbags I ain't nothing to them she can be whatever she wants but I'm not saddened about those people they need to burn in hell there you go both of them both of them and Donald's no narcissist he is a freaking sociopath. Why don't you look Don, Don is crazy. He believes the lies that are coming out of his mouth. And I've always is a he... liar too. They're both liars. They're both liars. They sit there and they and correspond together. They correspond together all the time. Right now they're laughing because me and you sitting here arguing about their stupid asses. That I know. That child, you know? And that's retardedness. I know. You know, you're the messenger they sent. So let's see the message. Well, I got the message, but I'm not here to argue with you. And they didn't send me on this thing. You got the message. Uh, you know, use the bird they sent out here. I, so let's see it. Hey, I think I really don't think. Oh, gosh. I don't think Jenna's trying to be rude to you. Well, I'm not. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. No, I'm not. I don't really don't think so. I'm so, yes, Otherwise, I would have dropped her. I promise she, you. I she promise is you. passive. She is passive, you know, and, and that's okay. 
Because I'm, you know, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but I'm not trying to come at you in any type of way. You were sent here to come at me, and I know. No, it. I was not. No, you can you call can't, call you're Don right now and ask them if they know I'm on this panel, and they will tell you no. Oh, Donald's going to leave and come to you. Uh, why would I? Why the fuck would I send Candace uh, something like that? If, if, why would I send it to Candace if I wanted? No, Donald you didn't tell Candace. Me. You and didn't I, tell Candace. If I wanted Donald come live with That's me. That's just what Candace is tell telling Donald? her. When you I didn't tell, tell you didn't tell Candace that you you guys yeah well where are you getting it because you're saying it because Candace told her. me oh That's my god Candace Don Candace told her she he was leaving her to come to you whatever whatever well you know what. You're a liar, and the devil is the no, father. No, no, no. That's just I'm what just, Candace is saying. saying. I'm sorry. I'm a firm believer in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Well, well I'm gonna tell you what. You wouldn't be on here lying like you are if you were such a firm believer. No, no, no. She's just saying Candace said this. She's just saying Candace saying it. if if anybody's lying, it'd be Candace. Ma'am, I no, I'm no, telling no, you no, what no, was told no, to me. No, you came up here like it was fact. Like that's fact. Like it was you know truth. Well, it first, is, when, first you you denied it being you. No, I didn't deny anything. I said it couldn't have been me if that's if that's what was said. But then you know you turned around there and you was talking about how oh, and I was on the phone and this is what happened when Candace came in there and said you know that ain't what Donald said something about call. no Donald did not Candace said. Candace was the one that came in there all bitchied up and everything and told Donald. Because he was on the phone with you. She was going to call the police. She wanted him off the phone because she knows his big mouth is going to hang them both. And her stinking mother. So you know what? Don't come out here trying to tell me nothing. Man, I'm not coming nowhere. I am at my home. No, you're not. Really, you're not. I'm going to pray for you. I really am. I'm not trying to get an attitude with pray you. For me. Pray for yourself. I believe me. I do every single night. There, there you go. All right. Um, uh, Jen, Jenna, will you will you email me that stuff that you said? And um, I will. Okay, I will. I'm I sorry. I didn't mean to come on here and cause confusion. No, I didn't think. I didn't think. I don't know. I don't know exactly where. I don't remember where it turned it, like turned left. But I thought. I thought you were really respectful. I mean, to be honest. Um, and I've kept you up here just because I, you know, you know them personally. So yeah, I wanted to hear from you. Um, you know. Um. I also don't want you guys upset with each other. And I'm not upset with her. I'm not upset not with her anymore at all. I just, I, I'm trying to get, I, I just feel bad too. Cause I don't want her garden upset. And like, this. I mean, if I have to apologize, but what I'm telling you is I got proof of everything. I mean, I can send it to you, but I can't send it to you right now. Cause I'm on this. Well, yeah. But, just when, when you get off of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I get off of this, I'll send it to you. But, um, I knew who she was. And and I, I would love to talk to you if you want to come on panel sometime and talk about your experience. If, if like, you know, they drop you and you're not. Yeah. yeah then you, but obviously if she's your friend and stuff and you're not wanting to speak too much on her, then you might um, decide not to, but I'm just yeah. saying. Well, I mean, she is my friend and I, you know, she, she needs, you know, she needs a lot of help, Yeah, but you know, as a Don, I don't, I don't trust Don. Period. Yeah, you and I think m many of us like don't. I mean, I don't. I mean, I. To be honest, I'm gonna trust. I don't trust either one of them, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Neither one of them. They are one, and you know, you're her friend, but get, trust and believe. She ain't yours right now. They are a manipulating bunch of people that want to suck somebody in, use you up. They think this is funny. They're laughing at you. They're laughing at me, and it's okay. Well, they laugh at you, bit they, see, they didn't even know I was coming up here tonight. They didn't know I was coming on the panel tonight. Mm. Yeah, they gave you, but but Candace armed you with a message out of from me to her. But she armed you with that, and you got it all when you got up here. Wow, that is something, huh? She she sends me a lot of things. I, I didn't come, plan on feeding the dogs, but I brought the dog food. Wait, what did she what did she send you again, Jenna? Uh, Jenna it was it was a message from Sissy to her, uh, Sissy to Candace. Um, it was I don't know. I didn't read it all, 
Yeah. Because when I heard, okay, I didn't know it was actually Sissy on the phone. I mean, Sissy on the live. I called Candace. I said, so Candace, who, um, who did you let close, you know, close to you that's, you know, up there talking about y'all? Yeah. And then I showed her the, I sent her the um, web link or the, the YouTube thing. She said, that's Sissy. And I said, okay. Then she started yeah. sending me things that Sissy sent her. Was this stuff that's, uh, but it's been a while ago that Sissy s sent her this stuff? She said she sent it to us today. Oh, uh, well. Oh, that's a lie. That's a lie. That is, is a, that is a lie. I don't know what you got, but it was not from me. I ain't sent Candace anything. I haven't sent Donald anything. A matter of fact, once they lied, once they lied about Baltimore being across the road, that they didn't know him, I pretty much was all done with them and shut them down right then and there because I got sick of their penny ante ass lies running all the people around the bush. And hey, that's a question. Trying to use us to, you know, me yeah. and everybody else to cover their asses and then to go out there and attack. A, uh, you know, I'm nobody's dog. I'm exactly. not going out there doing that, especially when I see that you're not the innocent people that you're portraying you was. Christians, they're so far from being a Christian Jesus Christ, forget about it. And I and I understand where you're coming from completely. I am yeah. tired of it. Not Christian people don't do what they're up there on that hill doing. And right now they're up there, her, her and Donald, laughing their asses off. And me and you, just like they were laughing their asses off when they got together and called Mary. This is the type of people. Yeah, that really like upset me. Because I, ca I, I called them and I said, why'd y'all do that? Yeah, what they say? They said because they want it was funny. Yeah. They still thought it was funny that yeah, it was funny, and I didn't. I you know, I really didn't see that funny. I really didn't. It was. Uh, oh, Jenna, uh, what is uh is has Candace told you that she's friends with Jody Sue? Jody Sue, no, she said that's her neighbor. She said they don't talk very often. Oh, okay. Um. So you don't know them to be friends, and you're not to. Well, she no, I do because she says that she watches her house. And like they watch the neighborhood. Like if someone like she let her know if somebody comes up on a property and stuff like that. But they're not um, like they're not like close or anything. No, they're not like close. Okay. No. Okay. And that wasn't uh, truth either. That wasn't truth either. Jody Sue was coming over. She was confiding with Can and Candace to take pictures of her boo boos that Baltimore was beating her in. Donald told me that Candace even still has those pictures. And yeah, Don Don and would take her to the store and stuff like that. I know that exactly. And and also Baltimore was going over there up on the hill talking with Don because even Jody Sue said he's over there more than I was, and so forth. Their children, the boys, played together and so forth. The yes, you know, what do you call that? That ain't acquaintances or just you know the the neighbor that you occasionally see and way hi to. That yeah. is a friend. They are corresponding together, going to each other's homes, babysitting giving sugar toilet paper that is a friendship you could call i mean they can spin it any way they want but let me tell you something that's friendship yeah pretty much it is yeah see you guys agree more on, i think i think you guys agree more, more on um than you think sorry i was reading at the same time as saying that it's okay okay somebody said uh and sorry there is two people waiting but i think this is um really important like i'm glad you came up jenna and thank you so much well to thank you to both of you of course i mean prayer garden you've been here for a few days and i appreciate it. and uh jenna i i appreciate you coming up here even though you know at risk your friendship um yeah it's appreciative uh lady sleuth said i don't i don't know if this is rude so a question so Please forgive me because I haven't okay. even read it. It says, Jenna, if you are Candace's friend, why wouldn't you help those kids out of their being neglected and abused? Why can't anyone stand up for those kids? Oh, because she wasn't friends with them until I wasn't know. friends with them until after. When I seen um the, when I see Candace's okay, see I I follow the story, you know, when Summer got missing. And then when I seen Candace's interview with Chris Madonna, that's when I contacted them. So I wasn't, uh, yeah. I wasn't friends so, before. So you, when you were, you friends with Candace when she had, when they had the boys? Yes. Uh, cupcakes. What did you mean? Ziggy? I can't believe you asked Jody Sue to come up here with prayer guarding. Per I did not ask Jody Sue to come up here. I don't know where that came from. 
Uh, I don't remember ever asking Jody Sue to come up here because I've always questioned that the scream and I don't know what I believe about that or not. Uh, what that scream thing, what about, uh, we know Pergarden Ber has mentioned, <coughs> uh, you, Jenna, yeah. have they mentioned that scream ever since you knew? Candace, Candace has. Candace said that, um, that, that her neighbor heard a muffled scream and yeah. then her PIs, um, went down there to ask them about it, but, she was not able to talk to her PIs because um, something about the FBI didn't want them to be, to, I guess, communicate with their PIs. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Candace lied again because Jody Sue said plainly, we heard a big loud scream and then it started getting muffled. It wasn't yeah. muffled screams. It was a big loud scream and then it started getting muffled. It's little things like that that we got to keep our sights on. Yeah. Oh. Hey, uh, Jenna, can you? Uh, I was going to bring up somebody. Do you want to stay up with them or? Yeah, I can. Okay. That's fine. Okay. As long as you got a uh, program, are you okay with that? I don't want you to be. Are you okay with Jenna staying yeah. up for the next couple callers? Yes. Yes, I okay. am. Okay. All right. Because uh, they've been waiting for so long, we have because we have Savannah and then we have Diane, and then that's going to be it for the night as far as callers um, coming up here. Um, Savannah, are you there? She's probably yeah, yeah, yeah I'm here. Wow, I'm sorry, sorry for your wait. Sorry, that's okay. Um, I kind of feel like you know just sitting here and listening to every every different. Um, outsider looking in you know i mean you had someone from canada and um what was the other one Australia. I remember. yeah, yeah. Australia. isn't that amazing like yeah yeah so um i really had a lot of questions for mary um it's unfortunate she left um but oh, thank really? you so much for doing this for everyone. Yeah, we've, been be, up for, I mean, we've been up yeah. here for five hours. So yeah, I mean, I just waited because I wanted to talk to Mary, but oh, she's not no. there. But I did oh, want to tell you maybe thank you. The, and, okay. Maybe she's in the um, in the comments. Uh, yeah, who knows? Her. Yeah, she might have just got tired of being up here. I don't know. I can't even. I can't even tell you when she left <laughs> because I was so interested in. Mary also had a procedure today, and I think she might, yeah. have, she not, might have needed Yeah, it. she's tired. And uh, Ziggy Valero, thank you for a uh, super sticker. <laughs> Did you change oh. your name to Ziggy because of this channel? That's funny. Thank you so much. Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, is that okay? I think I just have a question or two for uh, Prayer Garden. Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So the one thing I just wanted to ask, um, you stated that you reached out to Don um, on Facebook. I was just curious, how come you decided to reach out to Don versus reaching out to Candace? I did reach out to Candace first and she would not accept me. She shut down everything. She wasn't accepting no one. She wanted nothing to do with anybody because, um, Okay, yeah. That's you know. Okay. So you can't reach out to someone that you know ain't willing to, to yeah. be reached out to. That's true. Okay. Um I did want to ask another question. Is that okay? Yes. Um did you ever did Don ever talk to you about um when there was a time where they allowed um I believe like twelve men on the property? Were you aware of that? Um, I questioned him about Jose and the 12 men and Donald said that those 12, that um, Allie's husband, I guess they came to get Hunter, pick up Hunter. And she, I, from what I understand, um, Allie had left. That's why Allie was up there on the hill with Jose is because she left those 12 men and then and whoever came to get Hunter and her ex-husband at her house and that's what she was doing up there with jose at candace's house because all of them people were at her house not candace's now that's that's what i have been told yeah um 
I just think I just find that like extremely concerning on you know the the children's behalf because um, I mean they're obviously we're put at risk. Um, no doubt about that. Um, we already know. Certainly, Donald and Candace allow anybody to come up on that hill. They invite anyone. They act like everybody's their buddy and their friend. Uh, you know, it's like this big bonfire, and everybody's welcomed around it to smoke dope, do drugs, drink, party, whatever. And the other lady in the chat right there, she can pretty much confirm it. Yeah, it's just very unfortunate because, I mean, we have to ask ourselves, what was, I mean, the main reason of that many men in particular to go to that specific property all at the same time? And I believe, to the best of my knowledge, Don was not even around. So that would place Candace and Granny in charge of all the children. Um, and I guess Allie was maybe there, but... Still, um, I just feel that's just very bothersome for me, you know, as a mother. So um. I, think, I think that um, I think that Allie's old man might be in one of those. you know, I think he's one of those people from New York City, a bunch of friends and everything. And they probably ride motorcycles and they probably just, you know, all somewhere to everybody get together and some place to ride and pick up his son and then head back to, to New York, you know, and Jose just happened to be one of those that was right. But, on yeah. Um, but that's just the thing. Like, so if that was really the case and, and, you know, from me looking in, um, what would be the purpose of them being on the Wells property around a mother with, very small children if they were only there to perhaps get well, her. you know that's just where I get and I didn't know if Don had ever went into more detail about that but he, um, he it's always bothered me you know he said that Alex uh oh did we lose uh -oh. her <laughs> uh, Jenna uh, I guess we're waiting here. Well, while we're waiting on, oh, thank you so much to Wanda and be sure to go to the community tab, all new members to get the members only link to our uh, discord members, discord. And also who was, oh, G G G crime. Thank you so much. Um, while we're waiting on prayer garden or prayer garden, are you there? We can't hear you if you are there, just letting you know. Um, I think it froze, even though we can't see her. I think it looks like it. Um, yeah. do you have anything, any comments on what Savannah just said? I don't know if you ha knew anything about. Like, well, I knew that I, I heard about the people coming there. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. I knew about the people coming there, but, um, I know Don said he wasn't there. Right. So, yeah. you know, but from like a mom's perspective looking in, I mean, isn't that so concerning to think like where, were all these men like they're just standing there and you know were the children even being taken care of you know especially when the drinking happened at the night and it's, you know it's, it's, it's concerning to me to think about. hi it's concerning to me i'm not gonna lie yeah. about that yeah it's and, always to me you know i don't um, know only god knows what happened you know can i ask you a question me yeah yeah go ahead Okay, so earlier you did say that um, you you saw Candace uh, purchasing um, yeah. small girl clothes. No, she was purchasing like um, she actually got her a crystal, like a um, you know like the winter things that like snow globes, and it was purple. Mm -hmm. This was like not too long after she had you know came missing, and um, she you know we talk every single day, and she's like, look what I bought Summer today, and. Um, I looked at it, it was really beautiful. I mean, and she was upset and Don just comes in the house and he's like, I don't know why she's purchasing that stuff for. She's not coming, you know, she's gone. And, you know, Candace just looks like. But I have a quick question in your, yeah. your, your mind and your heart. Do you really believe that summer has passed or do you believe that she could be alive somewhere? I think she's gone. You really think so? I, I, still, I still hold on to hope, even even hearing all the negative. I just, I still hold on to hope for some reason. I, I just do. 
I mean, because why would why would she it, purchase that? You know, and um, I mean, I mean, I have my own theories and stuff like that of yeah. what I've heard and things. Um, you know, dealing, you know, talking with both of them and mainly talking to Candace. You know, Candace did. Candace did not see her leave the house. I don't know the the camper is like right there at the front door. So yeah. I mean, it's like so, if she was if she was to come out that door, you would see her. And so I was curious because um, Donna had stated before that the the back door was unlocked, you know, and things like that. However, um, I'm just curious. Um, there is visible. Um, you know, indications that they do have um, surveillance on their property now. Um, are they you aware? Now. Oh, they do now. So you they weren't aware of it. it. It's just been recent. Yeah, they got it oh, after okay. she went missing. Oh, okay. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, they they purchased. Well, they got all of like um, the deer cams and stuff like that after she went missing. Does can I ask another question? Yeah, most definitely. Um, okay, so, you know, on a friend's level, when you speak to Candace, um, do you really feel like the emotions um, that she shows for Summer, do you, does it seem that she's genuine and that she really believes that Summer has passed or that she still, you know, talks about her and still has hope that, you know, she, she knows that she could be okay? No, she has hope that Summer's coming home. Yeah. That's the thing about it. It's like they went to Hollywood and that's what that's what mind boggled me is like because when we first became friends, she wouldn't leave the house. Candace won because she was scared that Summer would come back and she wasn't there. Right. And now it's like she I mean, I know they're trying to get the awareness out. That's what she told me. She's trying to get the awareness out for Summer. And I understand that. But I mean, it just really, I don't um, know. um, like, so, but her, um, specific emotions as far as crying, um, does she cry as in like, it's painful that summer is gone or that she cries that she misses her? Like, you know, from your perspective, um, she cries, she misses her. I can tell she misses her because she's constantly doing, um, Crafts like books, you know, like um, she'll put pictures together for oh, okay. um, for books for her, and she she'll tell me this is for when she comes back. She'll have it when she comes back. Okay, well that's that's good to hear that. Um, yeah, I okay, I appreciate you answering. Um, can I ask another question? Yeah, most definitely. Um, okay. Um. Well, I'm going to also let up the last guest with, with yeah. you, um, she yeah, I just have so much that came to my, my um, mind right uh, now. I'm so I sorry. Wanted, uh, I want I'll to wait. address real quick before you say, because I want to say to Gritty Gabby, it's okay. Like, um, I'm, I'm sorry that that happened while you were on the panel, Gritty Gabby, because it wasn't just you. I thought it was irritated about. It was stressful tonight. It was. I don't know about the whole, like. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Like, no, Jenna. It had nothing to do about. It was before you came up here. It was, um, I was just, yeah, it had, it's not about when you came up here. No, it was before that. And if I was stressed out with you being here, Jenna, I would have, you know, been like, you know, maybe this isn't the time, but yeah. I don't know if prayer garden is done for the night and that's why she hasn't came back. I hope she's not upset with me, but I think it was very important to hear what you had to say. She's um, probably upset with me and I'm sorry. Well, I think I really, truly think that you were very, very respectful towards her. Um, I really do. Di Diane's coming up. Diane, do you want to be on camera because your camera's on? Do you care? Yeah, I can see you. You don't? It's fine? Okay. <laughs> You're fine being on camera, Diane? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right. See, I'm not afraid to show my face. I am. <laughs> well, I will tell you one thing. I am a mom. Why isn't John and Candace out looking for those looking for summer? Yeah, that's a good question. Think about that a minute. Look how guilty that looks. I'm sorry, but look how guilty that looks. Not even out looking for summer. 
Mm-hmm. 